yeah good morning guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing amazing great this morning i will show you how to make this birthday flyer on your handwriting smartphone using pc lab in this tutorial you will learn how to achieve this particular design using your smartphone of any types and if you want to continue learning new skills in graphics using your smartphone keep on watching my channel for daily tips an amazing tutorial like this. Thanks. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Without wasting much of our time, let's start with today's tutorial. Take up graphic skills with creativity. Guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing great. Yeah, today I want to show you how to make a unique birthday flyer on your Android smartphone using PC Lab as usual. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into business. So the first thing that we need to do is to select our background size. So the background size I'm going to use is 1280 by 1280. Then after determining that, we select the kind of background color that we want. So we come to the background color, then we go to the white and pick a white. Then click the plus sign to check whether it's really white without mixture. Now as you can see, everything is white. And then we click OK, then we mark it here. Having done that, then we we'll go directly to our gallery and import this particular picture frame. So let me see this shape. We are going to import this. Good. Then we import this. Then we come directly to relative size and enable it exactly like this then we click ok now go to the layer and lock it then the next thing to do is to come to the shapes and select the shape then click on radius to pick to increase it to 100 now come to the color and give it a red color as you can see already give a red color then stay on that page and reduce the size to small like this click ok now move it to this side let it be here then you can actually reduce the size depending on your desire then after to do that you can actually copy without stressing yourself copy then you go to the color and change the color as well so I'm going to use this color use the relative position to move it then move it move this beside this then after that the next thing that we are going to do is to copy we are going to copy after placing it properly then we are going to copy the same and go to the color and give it a black color so give it black color then after giving in the black color, we we'll position it beside the two images, I mean the shapes. Then we we'll position it well. Now having positioned it well, we are good to go. We can actually give it a space a little bit. Let's give it a space. Then give this a space as well. so let there be space so once there is a space we are good to go but you make sure that everything rhymes so after being satisfied with this the next thing that we are going to do is to go to the message what we are going to type then we'll go to the right up and type happy h b d happy bell day then we'll go to the font. Go to the font. Then we can try Biba font. Biba font. Click OK. Then let's see how it looks. 
I was thinking, I'm thinking we should use this. Then come to them. Uh, uh, come here and go this side and board it. And then after that, we'll come to the size and increase the size. As you can see, increase the size like this. Then it must not excelled in this particular design. But this one can actually touch this a little bit. It can touch it a little bit. So after we are able to do this, the next thing that we are going to do is to go to the color and give it a white color. Then after that, we'll come here and apply some crazy stops by selecting the shapes and rotate like this. Now reduce the size, position it at the middle and move it down to cover the O here. And as you can see, you come here and dial it to lock everything so that it will not be moving your hands will not be touching it now we'll go to the shapes again after going to the shapes we'll look at the shapes and see whether we can see anything to position here we don't see anything then we'll go to the sticker let's check the sticker whether we can see something that will make everything awesome yeah I've seen one, you can select this as you can see, then we click OK. So after that, we go to the color and give it a red color, so as you can see. Then we'll come here by reducing the size and positioning it here. Then go to the layer and move this back to be at the back of the right top. So now as you can see, is it not awesome? It's making sense a little bit. So now move it in a little bit. So after we are able to do this, the next thing that we are going to do is to write the name of the baby celebrant, which is Evelyn. Evelyn. Yeah. Then we'll go to this font and select awesome font. So the font I'm going to use are here. So we use beautiful rose scripts beautiful rose script font then the color that can match it is white then we'll position it here as you can see it will be here so after that we'll go to the right up as well and finish the name mercy right mercy 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 so after writing the mercy We'll come to the color and select the same white color. We'll go to the board, the style and board it. Then we can actually bring it down to come here. Then after that, if that is now work, we can go there and select, um, let's select leak spatter, leak spatter board font. And as you can see, this should be able to work. So we can actually reduce the size a little bit then after reducing the size we give it a light spacing to be five then we will now use the movement arrow uh, the position arrow to position it down a little bit then after position then we can now shift it here sorry good so after we are able to do that the next thing that we are going to do is to copy let's copy this messy and type up 20 23rd december 23rd december good then we can bring it down with the same color then we'll use our color beaker go to the color click on plus sign use the color picker then pick this particular blue color then position it reduce the size and position it here so good the next thing is to increase the size and increase the size so good so after that is that hard no it will remain the image let's go to the 
go gallery and import the image and as you can see we will import the image like this what i'm going on going to use this i'm going to use another image to make it more presentable so i want to use this image and as you can see this is the image i want to use so you can actually position this here reduce the size then you position it make sure part of it is showing so let's do some crazy stuff by moving like this and see whether it will work so you should be able to uh, yeah. so this is exactly how you can create a simple image i mean simple birthday flyer on your android smartphone this is actually how you can achieve that so let us just let uh, match these three together let's match them and adjust them so you can see then click on position and move it down so you can see now so very very cool very cool so this is exactly how you can achieve design a birthday flyer on your handwritten smartphone using pcl app thanks for watching god bless you